morning students. I'm Nara Mangya. Today I'm going to teach you here chapter number 30 that is perimeter, area and volume. Today my topic is here nets of solid. Nets of solid means nets of solid shapes. Cube. I will take today cuboid, nets of cuboid and a cube. Okay. When you look at this box, this box, when you look at this box, okay, you are able to see its top, its top, yeah, its top, its front, and suppose it is kept like this. You are able to see its top, its front. And it's here yeah, black face. It's it's here yeah, here yeah, black face, black face. If it kept kept like this, if it is kept like this, you are able to see its top, front, and here yeah, right face. Here yeah, right face. Okay. So this is the shape of here yeah, cuboid. This is the shape of cuboid okay shape of cuboid how many faces face one top this bottom here right face see left face okay front and back front and back total how many faces does it cuboid have it has six faces okay six faces Okay, this is the 3D shape with length, breadth and height. Breadth and height. This is the height. Okay, this is the height. This is the length and this is the breadth. This is the breadth and this is the height. Okay, 3D shape. Okay, when we here unfold it, unfold it, when we unfold it, we open it, its shape is like this. this. Its shape is like this. Its shape is like this. Here. It was top, back, here. It was top, back, left face, left face, and here, right face. Okay? Top. And here, this was bottom. This was here, bottom. We can write here, bottom. This was bottom. Okay? So, when I have unfolded this type of here, cuboid, if shape is like this here this is which one left face here this is left face and this is here right face here it is right face it's top front bottom okay and it's back when i have unfolded it then it becomes which shape 2d shape it becomes 2d shape when it is on a paper, then it is 2D shape. It is 2D shape. With length and breadth. When I will fold it along with the crease, along with the crease, like here, this is the net of a cuboid. Okay? I have shown here. Here, these dotted total, how many faces? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This is top, back, bottom, front, left face, right face. Okay? When you will draw this shape on a piece of paper, okay? Then you will represent this part like I have done here with dotted lines. And you will make a crease. You will make a crease along with the dotted line and you will fold it. When you will fold it, when 
You will fold it along this crease, along this crease, back and bottom. Crease, then you will be able to find the here shape of shape of a cuboid. Shape of a here cuboid. Here, these are the crease. The here crease. I have shown by dotted line. When you will fold it along with the crease, then you will get the shape of here same box here. The shape of this cuboid. This cuboid. This will be the top, bottom, right face, left face, front. And this is back. Okay. This is front and back. It is back. So, this is the net of a cuboid. Net of a cuboid. Okay. This is the net of a cuboid. Clear? Okay. So, how will you start doing this? Making this? First of all, maybe we can say, Ki you see only on the top and two of its faces. When you represent a 3D object as 2D object that is on a paper, piece of paper, you cannot see the entire object. However, when you unfold the box, you will get a shape. You will get a shape. When you will unfold this box, this box, you will get a shape here. This shape. Here, yeah, when you will unfold, you will get the shape of the box like this. Here, yeah? you will get a shape shown in figure here. Yeah? That net of cuboid. This figure is known as the net of the box. In other words, in other words, we can say ki a net is a plain figure. That gives a solid figure when folded. So, this is the net of a cuboid. Means, a net is a plain figure that gives a solid figure. That gives a solid figure. This is the solid figure when folded. When folded. Okay. Here, key. A net is a plain figure here. This is a plain figure. This is a plain figure and which gives a solid figure here. This solid figure when folded. When folded. Okay. So, this is a net. This is a net of a cuboid. Net of a cuboid. Okay. So, net is a plain figure. This is a plain figure that gives a solid figure when folded. When folded. When we fold it, this gives a solid figure. This gives a solid figure. Okay. So this is the concept of here net. Net. Okay. This is a net of a cuboid. Now, a net of a cube. A net of a cube. As you know. All the faces of a cube is of equal length, length, breadth and height is same. Length, breadth and height is same. Okay, so this is here. Six faces total of a cube. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you will cut, cut a piece of paper and draw on that, this shape, when you will fold, Along with these trees, along with these trees, you will get a solid figure. This is a here, this is a plain figure of a cube, which will give you a, a figure a here, a solid figure. Means a solid figure, which figure? A cube, which give, will give you a cube when you will fold it. When you will fold this shape, this First of all, you will take a piece of paper and draw this shape on that. Then you will fold it and you will get the shape of a cube. 
the shape of a cube. Clear? You will do it by drawing, cutting with the help of scissors and by folding. And by folding, you can do this on a chart of paper here, piece on chart page, chart paper. So we can say steps to make a solid by folding the net drawn on a grid paper. On a grid paper, you can take help of help of graph page also for drawing this graph page. Okay, you can draw this these shapes on a graph paper, then fold it along with the crease. So step one is make a copy of this net on a grid paper. Be sure to copy the dotted line as well as the solid line. Cut out your copy along the solid line. Step number two. Cut out your copy along the solid line. Then, okay, you will draw the dotted line here. And these dotted lines are for making crease. For making crease. Then, Number three, step number three, crease along the dotted line. Step number four, fold the figure so that the six rectangles become the six faces of the box. Tear along the edges to hold the faces in position. Okay. You will fold the figure so that the six rectangles become the six faces of the box. Okay. In faces of the box, and and you will and you will tape along the edges. When you will fold, when you will fold, you will tape along the edges, along the edges. Okay, this is also done with the help of tape. The edges are joined with the help of tape. Okay. In this way, you will get the here shape of a cuboid. Shape of a cuboid. And when you will draw this type of shape, then you will cut with this, with the help, uh, this complete edges here, sides, with the help of and fold, fold, and fold, and tape the edges. Then you will get the solid figure. Which figure? Q. You will get which, which solid figure? Q. Then fold the figure so that the six here. This is when you will draw this shape. You will get which shape? Which solid? You will get cuboid. You will get cuboid. And when you will try this, you will find, you will get a shape of a solid figure, which one? That is Q and this is for cuboid, okay? Here in practice zone 8, you will cut, you draw all these on a grid paper or you can draw these on graph page. Which of the following cannot be folded up into a cube? You will try this, cut and fold and get, are you getting the shape of a cube in question number one and in question number two, you will draw and cut and fold all the shapes and you will do this by doing yourself. This is learning by doing, this is the activity based, activity based exercise that is practice zone number Eight. You will do that is totally based on here drawing, cutting and and taping the edges. You will get the shapes. Okay. So we can say ki a net is a plane figure that gives a solid figure when folded. When folded. Okay. And your work is, you will do practice zone 8 of your book. Which one? Discovering Maths. Okay. Discovering Maths. Practice zone 
8 you will complete here chapter number 13 of this book practice on 8 how much do practice on 8 chapter number 13 which book discovering maths discovering maths Yes, you will complete uh, here all the practice zone 1 to 8 in your peer notebook. Clear? And this is all totally based on activity method. You will do it by drawing, cutting and folding. Okay? So, stay alert, stay healthy, mask yourself. Okay? Because COVID-19 is not over yet. So, be protected from this COVID-19. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you.